everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to lock objects on a Jamboard. So technically there is no feature for you to lock objects within a Jamboard, but I've figured out a hack that can help you do that. Here I have a Jamboard frame that I've inserted objects onto that I do not want my students to modify. So what I would do is I'm going to use the order feature of Jamboard to help lock my objects. So if you don't know about the order feature, what it is is you just uh, change the order of your object. So for example, if I wanted this text in the back, I would click here, click order, and then I could send it backward, and then it would move back. But I want it in front, so I'm going to bring it forward or bring to the front. What you're going to do once you have your page set up is you're going to click on the text box. Since my text, the text box is the most recent thing that I'm inserting, this will automatically go into the front of my frame. So what I'm doing is I'm just using the text box feature to protect my objects. So I would click on the text box and I would, I'm going to expand it. Now, when you go to expand it, you will notice that it will expand horizontally more quickly than it would vertically. So what you would have to do is just um, drag one of your sides back and you would just keep doing it. And you're going to continue to do it. You're gonna pull at the corners and you're just gonna continue to do it until it's out of frame. I've uh, expanded my text box so that I can no longer see it. To double protect your text box from accidental deletions, you can insert another text box. So I'm going to insert another one just to be safe. So I'm gonna click the text box and I'm gonna do it again. I'm going to pull at the corners. As it gets wider horizontally, I'm gonna make that smaller horizontally and pull at the corners. And I'm going to keep doing that until it's out of frame. Okay, so once I've done that, you can see that my objects on here are locked. It's not moving because it's behind all the other objects and the text box. Okay, so then I'm just going to add a sticky. And you can see that you can still place stickies on it. You can place a text box on it. You can still do everything you need to do on the frame. I can write on it. And that's how you lock objects on a Jamboard. And that's it. Thank you for watching.